today. I'd like to welcome you to Neo Metals. We are a West Australian focused project developer uh, based in Perth, Western Australia. Um, we bring together significant resources of lithium and titanium. We have excellent human capital. We have a very strong balance sheet. We use cost focus innovation to attract partners to develop our projects in the lowest risk uh, business case that we can. Um, we've developed in the last 12 months the Mount Marion Lithium Project uh, with Mineral Resources, who are Australia's largest contract processor of minerals, and Ganfeng Lithium, who are China's leading producer of lithium products. Um, Mount Marion, we started construction in November this year, uh, and we will commission it uh, before November this year and have first exports out. Uh, it is the world's largest hard rock lithium concentrator more than twice the size of green bushes uh, and the annual production will be somewhere around 50,000 tonnes of contained lithium carbon and equivalent which will account for 20 to 25 percent of world supply in 2017. So I would invite you to join us uh, at Neo Metals as we develop the next stage of our strategy which is to downstream process our lithium concentrates into lithium chemicals and to develop our titanium assets which are based around the world's second highest grade titanium deposit. Thank you. So visiting your plant we've learned that you're producing three types of concentrate. In the beginning you have the 6% concentrate of coarse material, the 4% concentrate coarse and you have some 5% uh, fine material. So what is the difference between that? What are the markets, what are your, your off takers are looking for especially? Right, so we, uh, we've added dense media uh, uh, separators and reflux classifiers to recover the coarse, that's how we recover the coarse products. Um, so after the three stages of, uh, of crushing, we send the fine material minus um, 300 micron through to the float circuit. The plus 300 micron goes through reflux classifiers to remove mica. Uh, and dense media separation uh, in two stages. One recovers a 6%, which is, is the prime product, uh, which the market price is, is set off, so equivalent to Talison's SC6. Uh, we also recover a subgrade, uh, which is uh, plus 4% Ally 2O. Uh, so we'll be selling that uh, to Ganfeng. Uh, we have a binding MOU for them to take the 4% product. Uh, it's priced uh, according to lithium units minus a small discount for the, uh, the change in value. Uh, it's a, you have to process a little bit more. Um, but essentially all the costs and the crushing are worn by the 6% and so the 4% course and the 5% fines material uh, make a significant economic contribution to our bottom line. So you do have some strategic investors, do they bring their own expertise to the site as well or is it, for example, the Chinese off-takers just operating their plant in their home country? Uh, so all of the production uh, will go to China uh, under a life of mine off-take to Ganfeng, 100% uh, uh, in the first three years. Mineral Resources and Neo Metals retained the right to take back 51% of production from year four onwards. So you have these Eli process patented as well. Um, could you give us some short explanation on what this process is about? Yeah, so look, the traditional Chinese go through uh, sulfation, so they get in a sulfuric uh, route uh, and then they add carbonate and, and various reagents to produce carbonate or hydroxide. Um, we are going down uh, a chloride route, so we dissolve the lithium oxide or the spodumene uh, into a hydrochloric uh, acid, uh, then we run electricity through it. So we turn the, uh, the Li2O into LiOH uh, as the primary product without needing to go to carbonate first.
So what about the infrastructure of your project? Are you going to truck the, the concentrate to the nearby ports or are you using trains or other different methods? Uh, so initially we will truck the concentrates to port. Uh, and then they'll go straight up to China. So initially we'll go out of the Kwinana port. Uh, in the long term we are looking to move to Esperance. So what kind of distance are we talking about from mine site to the port? Uh, from mine site to the port is about uh, 650 kilometres. Um, we will backload some material to bring down the cost. Uh, to go down to Esperance uh, is about 380 kilometres. So you are actively drilling at your site to expand the resource and to consistently um, ensure the grade and continuity of the grade and to ensure the quality of the end product. So what are you thinking uh, the resource might go up to like expanding and strike and maybe depth? Right, so uh, the fa phase one drilling we started in November and that was essentially drilling along strike uh, and infill drilling to in increase the confidence. Uh, so we put that result out uh, in early July. So from the existing deposits uh, we went up from 23 million tonnes to 60 million tonnes. Um, we have now, we're just in the last stages of a second phase of drilling where we spent about four million dollars in three months. Uh, drilling out extensions uh, and and expanding that uh, down dip. You know we were lucky enough to intersect some of the best uh, thickest grades. Um, you know we had intersections of 90, uh, 130, 180 meters uh, of grade better than our, our jork grade. So we have we have drilled a long strike and and we plan to have a new resource out next month. So what kind of mineralogy do you have? Is it mostly spodumene containing the lithium or do you have pedalite or lithium bearing micas as well? Uh, I think one of the, one of the uh, outstanding advantages of Mount Marion is, is that it is uh, a single intrusion. Uh, it is all spodumene. We have uh, no lipidolite, no petalite. Um, the, the mica is present as muscovite mica, uh, readily separated. So, you know, it, it, it really is a, a premium product uh, in that respect. So what about the iron content, for example, and it might be a problem in processing and getting battery grade uh, lithium? Um, look, the, the, our, our iron content is not that far out of spec in situ. Uh, when we remove the mica, which is, a, you know, an iron bearing, muscovite mica, um, that reduces. So our product uh, uh, will meet the SC6 spec. Um, so look, you know, I mean, iron really just consumes a little more acid. So if you're over on iron, it, it's, not a, it's not a drop dead event. Uh, it would just be marginally more expensive to process. So with two big partners already joining in, in the project, you'll keep a remaining percentage of the project in the end and you do have very little risk of downward because all the others bring in experience with regard to to mining and processing so uh, what will you do next for example the titanium projects you might be going for look we in, in our uh, structure yes I mean we've got Australia's largest contract processor of minerals that owns the plant we haven't had to finance that it's enabled us to sell equity down to Ganfeng, build up our balance sheet in preparation for the next step, which is downstream processing our share of lithium concentrates uh, into lithium hydroxide uh, from year four. And, and you know we will go through uh, a final evaluation and construction uh, to, in time to commission a plant to accept our share of the ore back. So really we're moving away from the mining into the downstreaming, and that's where the demand is. The demand uh, from the battery makers is for battery materials, so lithium carbonate, lithium hydroxide. It is derived demand for the spodumene. So we want to get into those, we want exposure to those markets uh, and downstreaming and now we have the balance sheet to do that. I mean we would approach it in the same low risk way that we would partner uh, with the strong industry player to do that. And. Uh, the, t the, ne the next stage, so in terms of the third horizon uh, of growth for Neo Metal shareholders would be to develop the Titanium project, uh, once again adopting the same approach 
We have cost focus innovation with some uh, technology from Canada that we've got exclusive rights to. Um, we've got a fantastic ore body, it's the second highest grade after Rio Tinto's Lacteo. Um, and we would bring in a, a big partner who, who needs to reset their cost base. So it's a, it's a methodology uh, and a low risk discipline um, that the, the management of Neo Metals uh, operates uh, under. Um, you know, we are, our family is uh, significant investors in the business and we are well incentivised to share those income streams with our shareholders. We paid a two cent dividend uh, in April and, and we hope to be able to repeat that this half.